Hello Comics, Mr. Craig, your superintendent here with today's vlog update. Homecoming was this past weekend and we had a great time with all of the students and staff at the pep rally and the parade. And then what a great time to get the first victory of the year and first victory for head coach Rich Mason uh, as the Comets win 18 to 13. Our cheerleaders were great, the band was great. And hey, congratulations to all of the winners of our first giveaway, the uh, Cardinal mugs that were given away on Friday night. There will be more opportunities to win, so we hope you'll uh, Keep watching Facebook Live to see when that's going to happen. And thanks to all of our fans for a great homecoming weekend. All right, comments. This is Stephanie Snyder. She's an instructional coach here at uh, Cardinal Elementary. And uh, Steph, thanks for joining us on the vlog today. Yeah. We're going to talk about the summer reading program. Uh, we got a report at the board meeting this last month that uh, it was a very successful uh, six weeks that, that students were involved. Um, tell us a little bit about just the summer um, learning program and how it worked. So we, um, as an elementary team, just kind of look at testing scores from the spring and just kind of pick some students that need a little boost in their reading skills, just need a little bit of extra support. Mm -hmm. And then we ask some teachers to if they want to teach. And it's a phonics-based program that just gives them a little bit of extra in their reading skills and just kind of helps them get ready for the upcoming year. So, And it's a research-based yep. phonics program, yep. right? So it's, it's not just based, something yep. that we came up with and said, here, let's try these flashcards or let's do this. There's, there's actual science behind yep. um, why this program would be successful for kids. Yes. And our teachers did some training with me in June before the program started. And they really um, got to dig deep into the curriculum and learn kind of what it's about. And then, yeah, we had nine teachers teaching summer school and they were wonderful. Um, they really built relationships with students over yeah. Zoom and really, yeah, really got to the nitty gritty of the reading and did a nice job with them. So and, couldn't have done it without the teachers. Right. And, <laughs> and the, so when you say the program was done over Zoom, so. Um, iPads were provided to yep. the students that participated, right? And yep. so um, they didn't even have to be able to come to school. They could just they could just log on at home. And yep. always some technological glitches that, that occur, <laughs> but um, we got those things figured out and, and yeah. it worked well. Yeah, Jenny Little helped with some of the technology, mm -hmm. which was awesome. And yeah. yeah, we were able to provide iPads for each of them. And they logged on for about 45 minutes to an hour each day with their teacher. And yeah, got some extra reading skills in. So, and it sounds like uh, they were they did very well. So um, there was uh, growth on assessments yep. as well as just in the program in general. So talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so they took um, a pre-assessment within the program, and then later at the end, they ended up taking a post-assessment, and we had lots of great gains. We had over eighty percent of our students make growth. For that and then um, we are we've also seen some growth from their spring scores last year to mm -hmm. the scores that they've um, received this fall on state assessments so lots of lots of gains lots of progress being made well and that's awesome that the that the program not only helps avoid the summer slide but makes a difference yeah and yeah. and that we have tangible results to show that yeah. is this program limited to the number of students that can participate or could every elementary student participate yeah we kind of narrowed it down to first like incoming second third and fourth graders this time we kind of just sit down and look at our scores and see mm -hmm. who um is the neediest who kind of needs the most support and just kind of go from there we talk about how you know how many teachers we have and how many students those teachers can take on in the summer and then just base our numbers off of that so we were able to serve um, three different grade levels this summer, which was nice. Wonderful. So yeah. lots of participation, um, technology helping in the cause to make sure that uh, students could had access and could participate. Mm -hmm. um, great teachers teaching the program with fidelity and lots of growth and, and success that is being displayed in how the kids uh, return to school this fall. So yeah. boy, that sounds really good to me. Yeah, it was, I, yeah, um, it was wonderful. Yeah, great. <laughs> Well, again, this is Stephanie Snyder. She's an instructional coach in the elementary here. We thank all the teachers, Jenny Little uh, and Steph, for all of the work that they did to make this program possible. So, Steph, thanks for joining us on the vlog today. Yeah, thank you. 
comments. I want to make you aware that you can catch me on Atumwa Radio the first Tuesday of every month. I'll be with Ellis Kojo on Dialogue, and that's on 1240 AM or 102.7 FM KBIZ. We'll be talking about education news, what's going on at Cardinal Community Schools, and much more. We encourage you to tune in the first Tuesday of the month at 8 a.m. as Ellis and I join each other for Dialogue. That's all for today. We appreciate you tuning in to the vlog and hope you'll join us again next time for more about what's going on at Cardinal Schools. We encourage you to take care of yourselves and each other. Remember, we are Cardinal. Go Comets!